the time period is the early 80s. And in those days, appearances were important. And this lady, this young woman, is cutting it. She's a female prosecuting solicitor for the CPS, the Crown Prosecution Service. This is a body of people who prosecute criminal cases on behalf of the police or the Crown and they are independent and choose which cases to pursue, which ones to drop or bound over. This woman drives a sports car and she's happening, ambitious, maybe even glamorous. And she's parking her sports car in her appointed slot, which is reserved for her at, at the local Crown Prosecution Office, the solicitor's office. She has a confident gait in keeping with her social position and ambition. She's still pretty junior, however, and uh, probably only got about a year's experience in real court cases. As she turns up to work, her boss is peering at her from his office and he's going to give her some news because her boss has a cunning plan up his sleeve and he's going to try and put a spanner in the works of someone. When the lady enters the building, she gets a tip off from an officer who says, Mr. Such and Such wants to see you, that's her boss. And she says, oh, and he replies, no, it's not like that. It's not bad news or a reprimand. Take it from me, I think it's good news. She knocks on his door. Come in! And she tentatively walks into the office, but with a calm demeanour and a quiet confidence, with some weariness. You wanted to see me, sir? Yes, he says. Now this man thinks he's tough. Perhaps he is tough. And he's going to put a spanner in the works of one of his colleagues, a junior colleague to him, but an actual fact, an old lag, someone who's been swinging the lead for too long, a man who's been taking advantage of his position and doing very little in not being particularly professional, taking the easy way out in the court cases, tending to bind people over rather than go to the effort of prosecuting. He's not up to the mark. He seems to be cruising this bloke to his retirement. 
and the cunning plan of this man who's standing at the window is to bring in this attractive young woman, accelerate her promotion, appoint her to be in charge of the current case which is coming up today and essentially usurp the old lag but craftily he hasn't told the old lag about this the man the old grey haired man because he wants to cause maximum disruption of course this is a great opportunity for the young woman because she's going to be the boss of this section, taking command over this old lag, and he's not going to like this at all because he's a cantankerous man. So the plan is that she goes in and it could make or break her. We're going to test just how competent and tough she is, and she's going to be able to handle the court case at short notice, immediate notice, and also that she's taken over the reins of the department which this guy's been had carte blanche with for 27 years. So there's going to be a power shift here. And can the young women get the staff, support staff behind her, or will they try to? chat her up or disrespect her or fawn to her and what's this old lag going to think of having the carpet swept the rug swept from under his feet